Hello everybody and welcome to another trading card unboxing video. This time we have a Costco Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer Box uh, 3 pack. So it comes with the Elite Trainer Box obviously, but it also comes with a Dusk Ball tin and a Premier Ball tin. Uh, so the funny story is my hometown actually doesn't have a Costco, but for my birthday we went to Sudbury where my sister has a Costco membership. So we went in and I found this lovely, lovely package that I just had to get because, you know, it's so much cheaper buying like this than buying them all separately. So we're probably going to go ahead and open up the tins first uh, just because the trainer box is the more exciting thing. But I'll list off what everything has before we open it up. Each uh, Pokeball has three, trading uh, three Pokemon trading card game booster packs and one Pokemon coin. Uh, so that comes for two, to a total of six packs and two coins. The Elite Trainer Box has nine Pokemon Trading Card Games Scarlet and Violet Booster Packs, one Full Art Foil Promo Card featuring Coridon or Maridon. I think Maridon is the futuristic one, I can't remember at this moment. Uh, 45 Pokemon Trading Card Game Energy Cards, a Player's Guide to the Scarlet and Violet Expansion, Six damage counter dice, one competition legal coin flip die, two plastic condition markers, a collector's box to hold everything with four dividers to keep it organized, and a code card for Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. That's a whole lot of stuff for a bargain price. So, let's get this opened up. And like I said, I think we'll start with the tins, because uh, the Elite Box has more cards and is obviously more exciting. Save the best for last, you know. Yeah, I was looking over a whole bunch of stuff, and I was like, you know what? I have the, the Scarlet one. I might as well get the Violet one, and I get some tins to go with it. Where are these, where are these stuck in? Oh. oh, they were held on. They, they're, they're held on by... There we go. There's a little uh, stick tab there. That's why they weren't coming out. So back to the side there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the Premier Ball first. Uh, just because, you know, it's, it's nothing special. It's just you buy 12 Pokeballs, you get a Premier Ball. Now, I don't know what packs are in but I do collect the the tins, so I, I made sure to find the three pack that had two Pokeballs that I didn't have. So, opening up our, uh, our premium ball, we have two Lost Origin packs, and one Silver Tempest pack, and a coin, a bronze, I believe, coin featuring an adorable Pikachu. Put that back together and put that to the side because that is going to go with the rest of mine. So, because we have two Lost Origin cards, we're going to be opening up those first and then we will open up the Silver Tempest. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Shiny Gardevoir first because that's drawn my attention. I don't know how many uh, packs that aren't like a special release have Shiny Pokemon on the cover. How am I always so far off center when I was going to this. Put the code card to the side. And one, two, three, four. And as we know, sometimes instead of an energy, you'll get a V-star card. And that is exactly, put those there. Now there's nothing else to break. That is exactly what we got here, Dead of Energy. So our V-star, uh, we have an Uncommon Survivor. And we have a Galarian Stunfisk Uncommon. And we have an Uncommon Trainer Item Box of Disaster Pokemon Tool. Uh, then we have a Common Poliwag. A Common Hisuian Growlithe. A Common Oddish. A Common Lickitung. Common Slugma. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this isn't even the last card of the pack. That is a beaut. We have a, tra a trainer gallery, a full art Gengar here. Absolutely beautiful card. All right, well, 
let's see what the last card is. It can't possibly be better than this. Oh, very nice! We have a rare Full Art Rotom B. Already got some great hits just off the first pack in the first Pokeball. Let's see if our second Lost Origin pack can follow up with that. I don't know what's better, the Trainer Gallery or the uh, the V cards, because they're, they're both Full Arts, right? I don't know which one's rarer or more desired to get. But we're going with our second Lost Origin pack here. So, one, two, three, four. And we must have gotten an energy instead of our V card. Yep. So we have a water energy. Uh, an uncommon trainer stadium, Lake Acuity. Acuity, I think. Uh, then we have an uncommon Luminion. Followed by an uncommon trainer item, Mirage Gate. We have a common Apom, a common Roselia, a common Gumi, a common Meditite, common Squobet, a reverse hollow rare Dugong, and the final card of this pack. Oh, nice! Not, not bad, not as good as a V card, but a rare hollow Glacier. Least rare? Not sure how to pronounce this one. I won't go on that. Next up, we have our Silver Tempest pack. So let's see what we get in this. Nope. The cards don't want to come up. There we go. Put that to the side. And then one, two, three, four. First up, we have our Grass Energy. Then we have an Uncommon Trainer Supporter, Professor Laventon. Laventon? Laventon? Then we have an Uncommon Toxapex. An Uncommon Jinx. A Common Dratini. A Common Chinchow. A Common Meditite. Common Dewpider, a common Ponyta. Ooh, quite nice. An uncommon reverse hollow Toxicroak. Let's see the final card of this pack. We have a rare Gardevoir. Definitely, personally, nothing beats that Gengar trainer trainer gallery card. But we have another tin here. We have a Dust Ball, I believe this one is. So let us get this open up. It's funny, if my parents ever watch these videos, they uh, they only play Pokemon Go, so they're, they they must look at this ball and be like, what the heck is that? It's, it's not in Pokemon Go. That's what happens half, half of the time when there's a uh, a new Pokemon in the, in the main games, and then they're like, what? That's not in the game? Well, it's in a game. All right, but we have our dust ball here, so let's get this open. Oh, open from the bottom. Or is this the top? No, this is the bottom. Weird. Didn't want to open from the top for some reason. All right, so let's see our coin. We have the same coin here. Uh, and then packs. We have two Lost Origin and one Silver Tempest again. The Lost Origins treated me nicely last time. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll, go, we'll get lucky and they treat me nicely this time, too. Just gonna put that off to the side. And we're starting with our Lost Origin packs. Code card to the side. And then one, two, three, four. First up, we have a Darkness Energy. We have an Uncommon Trainer Supporter, Iscam. That's how you pronounce the name. An Uncommon Dottler. An Uncommon Trainer Item, Panic Mask, which is also a Pokemon tool. A Common Hisuian Growlithe. Common Licky Tongue. Common Slugma. Common Clefairy. Common Apom. Oh! 
Wow, that is a beaut! We have a Radiant Steelix, which is the term for shiny when it comes to the trading card game, to my knowledge. And it's uh, it's textured and everything. That is a beaut. Well, I mean, the, the, the next card can't possibly top that. Oh! We got another Rotom V. Another Full Art. This, this is a different one, though, right? This isn't the same. Or is the other one just not as shiny? No, this is a completely different from the same expansion. Oh, a beauty as well, actually. Not, 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 well, why? Radiant Steelix is, is probably better, but that is also a beauty. Wow, Lost Origin is treating me real nice. All right, let's see what the, what our last Lost Origin pack here gives us then. I, I don't know. I don't think it can do better than Radiant Steelix. Put the code card to the side. One, two, three. Or, first up we have our Grass Energy, then we have an Uncommon Relicant, an Uncommon Trainer Item Lost Vacuum, an Uncommon Cascoon, a Common Spinarak, a Common Litwick, Common Rosalia, Common Rockruff, Common Seal, a very nice Reverse Hollow Rare Dust Ox, and the last Lost Origin card is a Rare Hollow Shift Tree. As expected, couldn't beat the uh, the Radiant Steelix and the Rotom V, but we still have one more Silver Tempest pack. Maybe this one will treat us nicer than the last pack. Maybe we can get a good hit on this one. Who came up with that, by the way? I don't know where it came from, but all of a sudden, if you got a really good card from Pokemon packs, it was called a hit. I don't know where that came from, but I like it. Anywho, we've got our Silver Tempest pack. We're doing one, two, three, four. We have our Lightning Energy. We have an Uncommon Breaks In. An uncommon Bahiam, an uncommon Crocorock, a common Feebas, a common Fampy, common Litten, adorable, a common Rufflet, a common Fennekin, an uncommon Reverse Hollow Fletchinder, and the final from the Pokeballs and the Silver Tempest Pack is a rare Hisuian Braviary. Not, uh, not great cards for Silver Tempest. I, I think that it might actually be another one that people weren't big fans of. But now we've got the Elite Trainer Box to open up here. I didn't bring a knife. I didn't think about bringing a knife. There we go. I had to go get something sharp enough to open this. Now we have both Elite Trainer Boxes. And I've never, never gone crazy for the Elite Trainer Boxes. It was just, I, I wanted the Scarlet Violet one for the bunch of Scarlet Violet cards. And when I saw this at Costco, I was like, well, I've never gotten both of them. And this will get me like a bunch of extra cards. So that's why I went ahead and bought this one. But let's get this. Uh, All Nice has the beautiful art on the inside. I'm trying to show that off just the slightest. Put that to the side. Then we have our player's guide to the uh, Scarlet and Violet expansion. I still never sat down and fully learned how to play the card game. I played a bit on the online, but never in person. I wanted to. Let's get this properly open. So, unex uh, completely expected, the uh, damage markers and die, actually the, the die, the purple die is different. But the rest of it is the same from the Scarlet Pack. Very nice. I do like that uh, I have the purple die too now. And I, like I said last time, I really like these tokens rather than just the cardboard uh, cutouts of, oh, hey, your Pokemon is burned. Let's take this out, I guess. And of course, we have our one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine Scarlet and Violet packs. The 
10 cards, 90 cards right there. We will be opening up. We have our sleeves once again. I don't really use these, but I do keep them. Uh, I'm going to put the code card to the side for myself. Then we have our Maridon. Absolutely beautiful art on that. Now I've got both Karidon and Maridon. I love that. And I do keep uh, this in its, uh, in its plastic just to keep it in a nice pristine condition. As mentioned, it also has our dividers here to keep everything together. Very nice, very nice. And then we have our pack of what I think it was 45 energy cards. And the nice thing about these energy cards, at least when it came to the Scarlet and Violet expansion, and I hope that they do future expansions uh, with new energy cards that they do this, is they actually did a code. Oh, it's hard to show since it's upside down there, but actually indicating which number in the expansion it would be. Uh, and it's unique. It's Scarlet Violet Energy. So this is Energy 6, this is Energy 1, but let's go through all these real quick. Fighting Energy, Grass Energy, Grass Energy, uh, Electric Basic Energy, Fire Basic Energy, Psychic Basic Energy, Steel Basic Energy, Fire Basic Energy, Darkness Basic Energy, Fighting Basic Energy, Darkness Basic Energy, Fighting Basic Energy, Lightning 8 Basic Energy, Psychic Basic like energy, fire basic energy, uh, grass, basic energy, psychic basic energy, fighting, basic energy, steel energy, darkness energy, fighting, steel, dark, lightning, grass, water, steel, fighting, uh, grass, darkness, darkness, steel, psychic, lightning, water, darkness, fighting, uh, lightning, psychic, fire, psychic, steel, water, lightning, darkness. Just to go over those real quick, you do get tons of energy cards because the, the elite trainer boxes are meant to help you actually get into the battling of the trading card game. So let's see what uh, how many of the unique arts we have because that'll help me decide which order I want to do these in. We have three with all the starters, two with Maridon and Karidon, and two with uh, Terrestrialized Heroes. So we're going to start with the packs with the starters just because we have most with that. Art. Now, I haven't bought a ton of Scarlet and Violet uh, packs since you know, my last unboxing of the the main you know Elite Trainer Box that I got. Oops, put the code card to the side. And then one, two, three. Oh wait, didn't they change it for Scarlet and Violet? Was it just one, two? Nope, because I just spoiled uh, the EX card for myself. Is it just one? They changed it, right? It's just one now, I think. Well, unfortunately, I revealed... Uh, uh, you know, it's not unfortunate that it's a fantastic card, but I revealed probably the best card in this uh, first, which is double rare? I'm not sure what two stars is. I know one star is rare, but absolutely beautiful. Toxicroak EX. And then we have our Psychic Energy. Uh, a common Lechonk, common Starly, common tar Tarantula, common Wattrel, uncommon Mousehold, co uh, uncommon Crocolore, and uncommon Florges. And if I remember, they also made it so there's two reverse hollows now as well. A uh, common Pomni. Not Palmy as in Amazing Digital Circus. Palmy, and then a uh, nice reverse hollow common Tarantula. Now, I forgot that they had changed it, and I've been unboxing from previous sets. Is it just number one? Like the first one from the back is your energy, so you just put that in the front, and then you then you review your cards. I will double check with this one. Hopefully that Toxic Rope isn't our only good hit, then. The code card to the side. And yeah, I think it's just one flip. And there we go. There's our energy. So it should be in the proper order now with the best card being on the back. So Water Energy. A Common Magnemite. A Common item, uh, Trainer Item Energy Switch. A Common Varum. A Common Clauncher. Common Quacks, no, Uncommon 
quacks well. Uh, uncommon trainer Pokemon tool, EXP share. Uncommon toad scroll. A nice uncommon reverse hollow Mabostiff. Mabostiff? Not entirely certain. Uh, a nice uncommon reverse hollow mousel. And the final card of this pack. Oh, nice! Because this is, see, this is the full hollow. Uh, they made it so it's hollow on this image and hollow on the outside, whereas the reverse hollow is the opposite. The image is plain and the outside is plain. Uh, but very nice hollow claw. I still remember when they, they teased him for for the game, he looked giant. I don't know why they didn't stick with him being just a giant, giant crap, but he was just so small. All right, opening our last pack here with the uh, with all the starters on top. So one. First up, we have a fire basic energy, a common scatterbug, common drift loon, common sprigatito. Sorry. <laughs> A uh, common Flittle, a uncommon trainer supporter Jacques, uh, an uncommon Florigato, an uncommon Zangoose, a very nice reverse hollow rare Skeledurge, an uncommon reverse hollow Zangoose, very nice because now we have the regular and the uh, reverse hollow. Final card of this pack is a Hollow Houndstone, and it's it's a rare. Uh, I don't like his evolution. He goes from such a cute thing to such creepy looking dog. Uh, and I get it; he's a ghost type, so he's supposed to be creepy. But he goes from something so cute to something so disturbing looking. All right. So next up, we're gonna go with our terrestrialized Gyarados packs. We have two of these. And I, I've said it before, but the reason I don't show the code card is uh, you can tell whether or not there's going to be a hollow of some sort at the end if I show you the code card. So it makes it just a little more exciting to not know if there is one or not. Uh, so first up in this pack, we have a Darkness Basic Energy. <clears throat> we have a Common Mankey. Uh, a Common Squawk. Squawkabilly? I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, a Common Fido. A common Daydane. Uh, an uncommon Trainer Stadium Mesagoza. An uncommon Heracross. An uncommon Trainer Pokemon Tool Defiance Band. Uh, a common Reverse Hollow Houndor. Very nice. Uh, and then a common Reverse Hollow Go Goat. Let's see what the final card of this pack is. Oh, it is a beaut, an Arcanine EX double rare, or whatever that term is for two stars. Beauty, absolute beauty of a card there. Very, very nice. Ironic that it came in the pack with a terrestrialized Pokemon on the cover, too. Let's open up our next pack. We've had nothing but uh, cards with hollows in them so far. That's pretty dang good. At least for the Elite Trainer Box, not for the regular Pokeballs and such. Alright, so our next pack. One. First up, we have a Basic Lightning Energy. Then we have a Common Krogunk. A Common Dedane. A Common Curlia. A Common Trainer Item Switch. An Uncommon Oinkalone. I believe that's the female. I'm not 100% certain, though. Uh, an uncommon Spiritomb. An uncommon trainer item Ultra Ball. A common reverse hollow Shroomish. Very nice. Uh, an uncommon Cititan? Cititan? I'm not 100% certain on the pronunciation of this one. Very nice, though. 
And the last card of this pack was a rare hollow quack quackable. Quack quacksable? Quackable. I can pronounce that properly. Alright, next we have our Maridon and Coridon packs. Very nice. We're gonna go ahead and go with Coridon first. It always bugged me, like, this is a prehistoric version, which is technically a legendary. Uh, they should just define them by saying prehistoric, because it makes Cyclozar seem like he would be a legendary, because he is the present-day version of these guys. So it just seems like they should just create, go with the term prehistoric Pokemon, instead of calling it legendary. But I get you have to have a big legendary in main Pokemon. All right, so next one, we have our single pack. I mean, our single card going to the front. We have our basic fighting energy. And we have a common Skiddo. A common Quaxley. Common Squovet. A common Sharkadet. An uncommon Cyclozar. An uncommon Toxtricity. An uncommon... Trainer Pokemon Tool Vitality Band. An uncommon Reverse Hollow Florigato. Very nice. Oh! A full art Tarantula. Rare. Very nice. And that's not even the final card of this pack. But I don't think the final card of this pack is going to beat it. Let's see. It is a rare Hollow Cyclozar. Definitely think the full art Tarantula is, is the better card there. Let's see our last pack with Coridon. And then we still have two more packs after this before we are done with this unboxing. How's the camera holding? Yeah, it's got enough battery. I, I've been charging it between, if you can't stop and recording pretty much these unboxings all in one day, I've been charging it a little bit in between each video. Alright, one flip. We have a basic psychic energy burst. And we have a common survivor. And we have a common Houndor. Uh, we have a common Cetodal. Cetodal? Not sure, but a common one of that. Uh, a common Magikarp. An uncommon Stone Journer. An uncommon Trainer Supporter Penny. Otherwise known as my Pokemon character if I was a female. Uh... An uncommon Metacham. An uncommon Reverse Hollow Quaxwell. An uncommon Trainer Supporter Reverse Hollow Youngster. I think this is our first Reverse Hollow Trainer. Final card of this pack is a Rare Hollow Reverum. Very nice. Now we have Armor Rhydon packs to open up. Let's get these going. side. Alrighty, first up we have our basic steel energy. Uh, common Lechonk. Common Slowpoke. Common Wattrel. Common Zangoose. Uncommon Foretress. An uncommon trainer Pokemon tool Rocky Helmet. Uh, an uncommon Mabostiff. A common reverse hollow Star Radia. A common reverse hollow Sandial. And the final card of this pack is a, a rare trainer supporter, Professor's Research, Professor Turo. I won't spoiler alert anything about him, even though the game's been out for how long now? All right, our final pack here. Let us get this open up. See if we can get another great hit with our final pack here. All right. One. First up, we have a basic darkness energy. Uh, a common Tarantula. Common Wattrel. Common Crocorock. A common trainer item, Rare Candy, which used to be rare back in the day, now it's pretty common, ironically. 
Uh, and then we have an uncommon Espatra. Then we have an uncommon trainer supporter Arvin, best boy. Uh, then we have an uncommon Cacturn. We have a common small live. Everybody has a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, and reverse hollow, obviously, too. Very nice. Uh, then we have a common reverse hollow Squobin. And the final card of this unboxing video is. Oh, you suck. I hate this Pokemon. It goes from crawling to standing. To standing a little better. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, but a rare hollow Palmot. I don't know what I don't know anyone who likes this Pokemon actually. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, we definitely got some good cards here, regardless uh, of Palmont there. I mean, we got uh, Full Art and EX, and of course, we've got our great Maridon card here. Uh, so, that is it for this unboxing video. I absolutely love, uh, you know, it was the same price of just buying the, the Elite Trainer Box and getting two Pokeballs. Awesome deal. Awesome deal at Costco's. If I go back and my sister still has a membership, I'll probably get something else Pokemon-wise every time we go. So, that being said, that is it for this unboxing video. I still have so much left to unbox. So, let us get done with this video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. And uh, if you did, there's more to come. Thank you all very much, and I'll see you guys next time.